Welcome back to Friday Night Lights. The Otters have won their first game in three games in three nights as it started off on Thursday night. That's right. That first of the three-game weekend was Stan Butler's first win as Erie's coach, mm -hmm. fittingly against his former team in North Bay. Friday, it was on to Sudbury on the road as well. And it was a tough night for the Otters and their special teams. More on that in a moment. They already gave up a shorthanded goal in the first when Liam Gilmartin lights the lamp for the Otters, tying the game up at one apiece. Then with just under a minute to go in the opening period, here comes Kerry Terrance. He skates in, finds the back of the net, his 24th of the season, Erie leading 2-1 to one after one. Now tied at two in the second, and it's Nick DeGrazia scoring another shorthanded goal for the Wolves, his 23rd of the season. Sudbury would score three of their eight goals shorthanded on the night, and it's the Wolves over the Otters, 8-3. to three. Gil Martin netting a pair of goals for Erie in the loss, and the Otters will continue their lengthy road trip on Saturday night as they face the Sioux. Go women's college hockey at Mercyhurst University. Lakers hosting Lindenwood at the mix. Scoreless in the first period here. Plenty of quality chances both ways. But how about the effort here between the pipes? The Mercyhurst Jada Brennan comes up with a big stop there. No score after one. We fast forward to the second. Still scoreless. But here they come. Sydney Peterson with a power play goal. Thea Johansson and Kylie Mahoney with the helpers. One to nothing. Mercyhurst early third. Same score. And they double up the lead. Alexandria Weiss lights the lamp. Two to nothing, Lakers, and then exactly five and a half minutes later, they would score for a third time. Chantel St. Croix as Mercyhurst gets it done at home with a shutout win over Lindenwood. Three to nothing. Same two teams go at it tomorrow afternoon at 2:05. As for the men, they were on the road taking on Army. No score in the first until Mickey Burns lights the lamp for the Lakers as they grab the one nothing lead. But that lead lasted 56 seconds. The Black Knights scoring the tying goal. Lucas Canta scores, tying it up at one apiece after one. Now the Lakers were trailing two to one in the second period, but they get even on the goal by Cade Townen. And this one would go to overtime and in OT. Max Itagaki. Breakaway opportunity. And he buries the game winner. Heartbreaking way for the Lakers to lose on the road. In the first of two this weekend, they fall to Army 3-2 to two in overtime. Same two clubs will be at it again on Saturday. On the NHL ice, Pittsburgh on the road to battle the New York Islanders. Second period, tied to one. Jake Gensel fires one toward the net. Ricard Raquel there to deflect it in for his 20th goal of the year. Gensel still a smile, though. Pens up 2-1. to one. Now 3-2 later in the second. Cindy Crosby, the backhand pass to Raquel, who scores in the slot. 4-2 Penguins. Now 4-3 Islanders on the power play. Down just a goal. Cross ice pass. Brock Nelson for the one-timer. His second of the game. 24th of the season. Ties it at four. Less than three to play. Same score. Nelson finds Zach Parisi. The far post who deflects it in. Beating Casey to Smith. Islanders top the Penguins in this one. 5-4 the final. And quickly in uh, Division One Men's College Wrestling. Edinburgh Grapplers topping Bloomsburg on the road. A 23-18 final as the Fighting Scots get their second dual win on the season. Still to come on Friday Night Lights, our play of the night. Plus our fan tonight as well.